Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00. Uh, this is me working on the shoulder nacelles for Project Mjolnir. This is a different kind of style of content that I'm trying out. This is obviously a time lapse of the creation of the nacelles. These are obviously very early prototypes. But I decided to try out this little type of content which is a little bit shorter rather than like really large sort of information heavy updates that I've been doing recently in sort of make it a little lighter and, and focused on individual components. Let me know if you like the format or if you don't, I'll go back to the long format. Nevertheless, in this particular video, as again I've said, I'm creating the prototypes of the shoulder nacelles which will match up with the environment suit or the ECU and basically cool the fluid that is pumped around the torso to keep the wearer cool. The nacelles themselves will actually be nested in the shoulder nacelles of the armour itself as we've seen on those little square in intakes that are on the shoulders of Mjolnir. The build plates that I've developed here should be able to be easily machined on a CNC mill but also equally be able to be injection molded in composites so depending on weight tolerances and things like that I could either go with an aircraft grade aluminium and get it machined or I can use just a composite and get it injection molded which will be obviously proportionally cheaper. All of these pieces uh, obviously have to be tapped uh, so that they can have the relevant screws and the like fitted into them make a, a few minor mistakes uh, with the drilling of holes and tapping of holes here where I cracked the, the th uh, 3D printed plastic and just a quick patch job with some liquid resin and hitting it with a little bit of UV light is usually enough to fix any of these small discrepancies. Nevertheless these holes have to be tapped. Uh, the, t the holes that I'm actually focusing on at the moment are effectively friction or pressure hold holes where screws are tightened down to hold the water cooling block of the actual cooling system itself. The other components you can see here are actually basically strip metal but kind of a 3D printed stand-in for the strip metal so again these could very easily just be metal strips that are bent into the right shapes with a hole on the end and really like I say it's just a strap to actually hold the ducting that's got the cooling system built into it to the build plate itself and then that plate can be bolted to the exosuit itself thereby securing it to the overall mainframe. I, um, I built in, purposely I built in ducting holes for the cables to be managed and easily uh, accessed and, and we can very easily wire on small control circuit boards and things like that. These two nacelles will obviously be positioned in the armour and there will they'll also be a, a separate pumping unit and um, environment control system that will be nested in the armour between the two thereby allowing us to control fan speed and the overall temperature of the water that's being pumped around the torso. Again, a small patch job on the ducting here um, as the, the fitting was just a little bit too tight and caused a small crack to form in one of the corners. A little bit of resin and hitting it with a UV light was enough to reinforce this again and circumnavigate that issue. Uh, th this can be very quickly and very easily overcome in the future by just increasing the tolerance of the, of the fit of the ducting around the heatsink and the fan uh, by approximately 0.1 to 0.2 of a mil. Aside from the build plates, the strap that holds it all together and the ducting, the other component that you see at the bottom left there is actually a junction for two of the water tubes to come out of the unit at any given time. So one tube comes out of the water cooling block, the other one comes out of the radiator and they're both redirected at 90 degrees that would then be easily accessible to the pump or reservoir that would be positioned between the two shoulder nacelles. And this is basically the final assembly of the prototype and this will eventually be linked together and put onto a small test frame that I can then actually unite up with the BDU and the environment system. Thanks for watching. If I could respectfully ask, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're told the second a new video hits the shelves. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed, and if not, it's not a problem. And be sure to pop a comment below to throw me an idea on what you want to see next. Massive thanks to my awesome patrons, Spartan10148, the Metarch of my facility, Falcon, Prophet, Leon, Sylphia, Mikhail, and Irrefutable, the monitors of the array, Darian, Flaming Halo, Cameron, Spartan0137, the Cave Potato, Andrew, Shia, Dakota, and Ghost, my diligent sub-monitors, my fleet of Strato-Sentinels, and my loyal enforcers, 
and all other patrons who have supported the channel and helped keep the domain operational. Huge props and recognition to Todd Morrison, Spartan137, Wesley Stuckey and Jacob Kemp for jumping on as Tier 0 Transcentient YouTube members, you guys are epic. Shout out to John for reasons, and if you want to help support the channel and score yourself tons of perks and merch, head over to Patreon or consider becoming a YouTube member, links as ever are in the description. Much love, take it easy everyone, and find peace in the domain. <laughs>